Hi, I'm Tony from Stamps By Me. I hope you're all well. Today I'm going to demo one of my latest stamps and it's the Poppy Collection. And it's one of our famous lamination stamps. So you have the solid portion and the black outline and it creates amazing looking art. It looks like you've sat there and painted for ages and made a beautiful piece of art, but really you've cheated with a couple of stamps. So I'm just going to show you in the color green how you can achieve that. So this is the solid portion. I'm just going to ink it up in the green. So I'm just going to ink my stamp pad with the new green ink. I'm just going to stamp it out. So you can stamp it once and you'll get a solid portion like that. However, if you want to then spray that bit to get another, another one, you will get another one. It'll be very faint, but you will get another one. And I'll just show you for the demo. like so and then obviously you would wait normally till it dries but for the purpose of this we're going to go ahead and stamp it straight in the black just to show you how creative it looks and just to show you how creative it looks and how artistic it will look so you just line it up and don't worry it's meant to look like a watercolored image so if you don't get it entirely straight it doesn't really matter and then and again, you don't have to just do it in the black, you can go over it again in the green and you'll get a, a nice printed poppy in this occasion. And I will just stamp out the second one as well so you can get the feel. And I'm doing this one in green, just to show you how different it looks if you do it in green or in black. And again, line it up. like so and then if you wanted to add a sentiment you would get your sentiment add your black ink and you can do your sentiment straight through the middle if you wish like that one Oh, we'll do a big one on this one. We'll just do this one underneath. And then if you wanted to go that extra mile to make it even more artistic, just pop the ink onto your mat like so water, get a wide bristled brush and just flick all over and then when that dries that gives the appearance of this one here and this one's got all the splatters on in different colours.